The opening two weeks of the 2022 SK Modified season has seen a little bit of everything. Full fields with over 30 cars trying to qualify, former champions struggling to find speed, and two winners taking a trip to Napa Victory Lane. Let's start with the good. Chassis Pro Race Cars ended 2021 on a high note. Those results have carried over into the new season with Owen winning on opening day, while Arut claimed SK career win number three last Friday. Chassis Pro has won the last five SK features, including the TC13 shootout last September. Brian Narducci has teamed up with Petty Cash Motorsports for the full season. The third year SK Modified driver has opened the season with back-to-back -back second place finishes and is the new point leader heading into Friday night. After a rough 2021, Ronnie Williams and his number 50 are back. The two-time champ has strung together two top six finishes in the first two events and is currently third in the standings. 2018 SK Light Modified champion Marcello Refrano is still in search of his first SK Modified win. Refrano's family-owned number 88 team finished third last Friday. A nice bounce back from a 27th place finish on Sizzler Weekend. Mike Christopher Jr. has had a consistently quiet start to the season, with two top 10 finishes, including an eighth last week, for the driver that won three times a year ago in his number 82 car. Kudos to Dylan Kopeck may have passed the most cars during the course of last Friday night's feature, finishing 13th. After being involved in a lap one crash in a race that only had one additional caution to help his charge back toward the front. 2022 has not been kind to Keith Rocco and his Keith Rocco racing team. Rocco ran mid-pack all night last Friday, finishing just 16th. That result comes on top of a 26th place finish on Sizzler Sunday. Team cars of Michael Jervis Jr. and Andrew Moeller struggled as well, with finishes of 14th and 17th respectively. And Brian Sullivan has found the move back to the SK Modified division a bit challenging. After leading early last Friday, Sullivan had an engine expire with eight laps to go.